In this work, we present NERF in the wild, an extension of neural radiance fields, or NERF, that can be used on the sort of unstructured and uncontrolled photo collections you might find on the internet. Our system takes as input an unconstrained photo collection of some scene, in this case the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, and produces as output novel images of that scene where the camera can be moved and also the appearance of the scene can be changed. Internet photos, like the ones of tourist landmarks that you might find on websites like Flickr, are a particularly challenging case for novel view synthesis, and that's because these images have likely been taken at different times, so the weather might change or the sun might move, and they could also have different kinds of post-processing applied to them. But also, people generally don't take photographs of landmarks in isolation. There might be people posing for the camera, or pedestrians or cars moving through the scene, or signs might be put up or taken down. So here's what our system looks like during training. The input to our system is just a viewpoint, the location of a camera, and an appearance embedding, which is just a vector in a low dimensional space. From these two inputs, we generate a static reconstruction of the scene, which represents the parts of the scene that are permanent. We also generate a transient reconstruction of the scene, which is conditioned on a second transient embedding. And this is meant to capture temporary structure in the scene that is specific to this one particular image. To generate a final image, we just composite the static and transient reconstructions together, and this model is trained by minimizing reconstruction error against the target image from our data set. For this to work, we need to modulate that reconstruction loss according to an uncertainty field that is also generated by our model and is conditioned on this particular image, and this allows training to identify and ignore the transient parts of any particular image. After training, we can use our model to render novel views of the scene by giving it different viewpoints, but also by changing the appearance embedding, we can change the appearance of the scene without changing the viewpoint or the scene geometry. So here's a fly through video of that Brandenburg gate data set where we're moving the camera but not changing the appearance. Here's a side by side with the original neural radiance fields paper, which has some significant artifacts because it doesn't have a way to account for transient occluders or variable appearance. We evaluated our approach on two other scenes from the phototourism data set. This one is of the Trevi Fountain in Rome. Just like in the original NERF paper, we can extract high quality depth maps from the scene by just seeing where our rays terminate. And remember that our model doesn't just recover a single model of the scene, but is instead modeling the appearance of the scene in every individual input image. Here we're iterating through different appearances in the training set. Now because those appearances correspond to embeddings in a low dimensional latent space, we can smoothly interpolate between embeddings to smoothly interpolate between appearances, as we're doing here. Here we're comparing to neural re-rendering in the wild from CVPR last year, and we see that our model does a better job of disentangling 3D structure from lighting effects and stabilizing things temporally and just generally produces higher quality renderings. Here's another result from our technique where we're just rendering the static model while moving the camera. So that's it, thanks for watching. Please check out our project page for the paper and more results.